Hello, my purple banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Insurgents. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we defeated Sun Touch City's gym, and we obtained the first badge, the Thermal Badge from Orion. Today, we're going to make our way back up to the second floor, since I am going to take care of some tips that you guys gave me. So, thank you so much for all of your tips and comments. You guys have really been helping me out on this adventure, and I really do appreciate it. So I've made my way inside of the Sun Touch City broadcast tower. You guys told me that we can find a guy to talk to in here that's going to allow us to do little side missions where we can bump into Pokemon and Delta Pokemon, which is very cool. So let's see if we can just take a look around here and see where it is we need to go. Hey, you're not allowed back here. This is where the boss of the broadcast tower works. You shouldn't disturb him, he's busy. Unless, are you a trainer? The boss is looking for trainers, you see. We're trying to start a new channel based around rare Pokemon, but we need a trainer to make it happen. If you are, we can make you a star. It pays well, and you can keep any Pokemon you catch. If you're going on an adventure, it won't interfere with that. It'll be like a side job you can help out with from time to time. Are you willing to help? That sounds good to me, yes. Excellent, I'll take you to see the boss then. Hey boss, what's up, what do you need from us? This kid seems to be a trainer, boss. He said he's willing to help you out with the new channel. Did he now? What's your name? Very well then, Rodri. I'm gonna make you a star. We start filming that pilot episode right away. Let's begin. So here's the deal, Rodri. You want to be a movie star, a hero. We heard reports of a rare Pokemon in the area, Axu or something. To be honest, we couldn't care less. The problem is, we've been through the grass tons of times and we couldn't find any! We got helicopters everywhere in the area. All you need to do is to use your skills as a trainer to find Axew and battle it. You can kill it, capture it, or whatever. Just battle it. We need footage. And a tip. I recommend you don't move around too much. Maybe just wait in a certain spot and look for rustling. That is a good tip. So we are going to be looking for an Axu, and that is what the missions are. So you go in search of Pokemon at random places because these people want the footage, and there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We bumped into an Axu right away. It is level 20, and as you guys heard, we can do what we want. We can KO it. We can capture it. It's up to you guys to decide what you want to do with these Pokemon. Now, Axu is a very cool Pokemon. If you guys want a Dragon type, I'd say go for it, capture him. But I'm going to hold out until we find more Delta Pokemon. So for the time being, I'm just going to knock out these Pokemon and grab some XP from it. So we gained some XP. Aqua grew to level 25 and is trying to learn play rough. Let's see if we can make room for that. I know that we still have some moves that aren't all that helpful. So we could definitely do that. I'm going to get rid of Helping Hand. We've barely been using that. I'll probably be getting rid of Bubble Beam next since now we do have Aqua Tail. So we're set. Yo, Rodri, we got that on tape. Come back over here. Sweet. They got that for us. It's awesome to have a camera crew following us around. We caught that battle on footage, Rodri. You were fantastic. Great work. We're going to head back to the base now. Here's your reward. Straight from the boss itself. Whoa, we got 2,000 Poke Cash. That's awesome. You can make some good money from this. I've been telling you guys that I needed to find ways to make money in this game. And it looks like this is going to be one of them. Now, before we go any further, I'm going to do it one more time. I want to see if there is a Delta Pokemon coming up, because I would really, really like that. Hey, Aqua seems to be trying to tell Rodri something with their eyes. I wonder what it is. Hey, he heard about our work on the Axu mission? Awesome. So can we jump into another job or something? You know, we could use the money for repels and all that sort. You know how it is. He's going to call us on the Poke Gear, so that makes a lot of sense. He's going to reach out to us. He'll hit us up when needed. Miss, miss. We just left the office. Hey, kid, it's me, the director. Listen, you were hit. People love you on TV. Would you mind coming back to the broadcast tower? We need to start filming the next episode right away. Great for us. We are in the broadcast tower, so let's make our way back over there. Hey, long time no see, man. Wait, what? On your last mission, Rodri, this one's sort of the same thing. You see, we got reports of one of those very rare Delta species Pokemon over in the Rezai Desert. We'd like you to check it out. Of course, you can catch it if you want. We just need footage for our TV show about finding wild Pokemon. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. So they finally phoned us in about a Delta Pokemon. Rodri, the ratings from the last episode are out the roof. 
and we want to retain viewers, we have to have an exciting second episode. And guess what? Not only was there a rare Pokemon reported here, but that rare Pokemon is a Delta species! That's right, Delta Pokemon are the rarest of the rare. If we can find it, we'll be the most popular channel on TV. Again, we've got helicopters everywhere in the area. All you need to do is to use your skills as a trainer to find that Delta. If you want to capture it, you can. Just get us some footage. Talk to my associate if you need a tip. Very cool. So we made it to the desert, and now we are going to be looking for a Delta Pokemon specifically in this area. Could this be it? Cross your fingers, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be taking on... What in the fudge is that? A Sand Grimer? Whoa! That definitely has to be the Delta Pokemon that we're looking for. Very, very cool. I did not expect a Grimer to be made out of sand here. That is awesome to see. So brand new Delta species has appeared in front of us. And we're going to try to catch this Pokemon, ladies and gentlemen. You heard right. I'm catching all the Delta species that we can so I can add them to our team. I want to have a team full of Deltas. That would be a lot of fun. So with that, gotcha. Grimer was caught. And we have done it, ladies and gentlemen. Grimer's data was added to the Pokedex. It is the quicksand Pokemon, so it's fully a ground type. A Delta species discovered by Echo the Third. With sand absorbed in its circulation, it can vanish into surrounding sand to escape from predators. That's very interesting. That is very good to know. We're going to give this guy a nickname, and we are going to call it... Sandy. So with that, guys, I'd like you to welcome Sandy the Grimer to our team. So Sandy was transferred to the PC, and that is awesome. We caught ourselves the Delta Pokemon that we're looking for. Rodri, we got that on tape. Come back over here. Let's go back over there. I really like the music in this desert as well. It's very unique. A Delta Grimer, that was awesome. You were fantastic, Rodri. We got the whole thing recorded. Hey, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad we're putting up some good ratings for our show here. Make sure you tune in to Pokemon Hunting with Rodri where we'll be finding more Delta species as we make our way through Pokemon Insurgents. We're gonna head back now. Here's your payment. Ooh, 3,000 Poke Cash. Yeah, hit us up whenever you guys want us to come back because we are gonna be getting some Delta Pokemon whenever we get hit up. So if the director calls us up, we're gonna be making our way back to Suntouch City in order to catch these rare Pokemon. So now that we've done that, I'm going to mix things up a little bit, and I'm going to switch out some of our Pokemon. I've gone ahead and deposited Bo and brought out Sandy, since they're both ground-type Pokemon. We can switch them in and out. Now we have Sandy, level 25, joining us. The ground-type Grimer, it's a female. It's very cool to see these new Delta species here. So, we have Sandtomb, Swallow, Spit Up, and Minimize. Those aren't the greatest moves, but it'll be good to have Sandy on the team, so we can start leveling up and you know hopefully getting some of the better moves now that we've done that thank you so much for those tips ladies and gentlemen make sure you hit that like button if you're enjoying the series as it really does help and if you're new to the channel click the subscribe button and join the purple banditos today it's always a lot of fun to get to play through this adventure with you guys so it's time to make our next move forward and we made it to the sun touched exit way Vincent Lapras pack is vibrating would we like to surf yeah we do Check it out, ladies and gentlemen! We're a Lapras! That is awesome! Very cool. So we could just turn into a Lapras ourselves, the instant Lapras. We made it to Route 3! Hey, how's it going, everybody? We're here in Route 3. Last time we were in a route, we found some very, very cool Pokemon. So let's go ahead and see what kind of Pokemon we're going to be going up against today. Vigoroth is level 23. So a couple tougher Pokemon to go up against. This is going to be an absolute blast, ladies and gentlemen. I'm always pumped up to get into battles in new routes. I always look forward to seeing what new Pokemon they're going to be throwing at us. Because every game is different. Especially here with a fan-made game. We have no idea what they threw in. Vigoroth is down. So let's keep this moving. Aqua grew to level 26. Aqua is very, very strong for us right now. A Giraffe Rig is going to be coming out. And I'm going to switch things up a little bit. Let's send out our ghost type out here. And let's see what we can do against a Giraffarig. It is level 24. 
I'm gonna go for that shadow sneak and I was not even trying to do that let's go for the confuse ray and it took me out that's how it's gonna be sometimes ladies and gentlemen sometimes you know you click on the wrong move and things are just not gonna go the way you want them to all right let's send out Sandy then Sandy we believe in you let's see what you got over here with the sand tomb and all these crazy moves Sandy that did not do a lot but we trapped it in the sand tomb and I'm all about that I'm all about that I'm just gonna use some of these crazy moves that Sandy has that didn't work at all Sandy what's going on Sandy no we got knocked out what can I tell you guys man what can I tell you Sandy's gonna need a little bit of training before we get too good at it I'm gonna go for the fairy win here hopefully we can hit this giraffe rig if we could just hang in there oh my goodness you guys already know how it goes against some of these Pokemon we're just gonna have to throw out a sword and go for our force palm and knock this guy out oh my goodness this giraffe rig is OP it's taking out all my Pokemon out here what is this can we at least land our incinerate Come on, can we land our incinerate, please? There we go. Giraffarig is down, ladies and gentlemen. That one was a tough one. We grew to level 23. And now we know that the trainers on this route are going to be pretty tough. I healed up our Pokemon so we can keep on moving through this route. Let's see what else we can find in this place. We got ourselves a repel. I wonder, why is it giving us a repel? Are there going to be a lot of strong Pokemon here in this place? That is for us to find out. Let's jump into our second battle here in Route 3. The battles have been a little bit tough here on these routes, so I got to tell you guys. Hopefully, we'll have more type advantages coming up. Luckily here, it's a Geo dude, so at least we're going to be able to take one of these guys down. I hope you guys are having a nice Tuesday. I've been having a pretty chill Tuesday. I'm getting a lot of things done. I did a lot of reading this morning. I actually managed to completely read a book this morning so I read it in full and it's a good thing I'm telling you guys I'm trying to do more to keep myself busy and reading is one of those things and I'm really glad that I'm able to do that I'm gonna try to read more and more maybe a little bit every morning maybe a couple chapters you don't have to go all out of your way and read a book all in a day you can read a chapter every day and before you know it 10 days go by 20 days go by you finish the book it's pretty simple a good strategy for that would be to read before bed. I know that I like to read before bed. I'm always on like Reddit, just reading about my favorite TV shows or the video games that I play. And normally, I'll just do that till I fall asleep. Another good option is to just read a book before you fall asleep. So that would probably knock you right out. I know that I've had times where I'll be like reading a book and before I know it, I just end up falling asleep in the middle of it and you get some of the best sleep. You know, that's a good, it's a win-win, it's a win-win. Aqua grew to level 28, my goodness! What can I say? We're going up against a bunch of Pokemon that Aqua has type advantage on, so of course we're going to be gaining a lot of XP here. Now that it's also Tuesday, and you know, fall is coming back around, you guys know I'm a big fan of superhero shows. We get the Flash back tonight, and it feels like forever since I've watched the Flash, so I'm super excited. We also have Arrow coming back later this week, Legends of Tomorrow. I watch all the superhero shows, so I'm all caught up in the continuity, and it's going to be a good season. I tell myself that before every season. I really hope it's going to be a good season. Sometimes the shows, for example, The Flash, are a little too predictable for me. I'm really good at predicting storylines, so I do a pretty good job of ruining shows for myself when they're too predictable, so I really hope that the Flash just won't be predictable this season. That there's like some crazy plot twist. That some insane thing happens. That would be awesome. I love shows that are wild and have plot twists. For example, Game of Thrones. Shows that you can't predict what the heck is coming are my favorite. So I'm very excited for that. You guys know I love my superhero shows. I still haven't had the chance to go and watch Venom the movie. I know it's out and I'm looking forward to seeing it. Although it's not in the Marvel 
universe, you know, the Marvel movie universe that they got going, the MCU. It is Sony doing the Venom movie, but I still think that it's very cool because it is like a Spider-Man movie. And I'm a big fan of Spider-Man, and I like Venom a lot. I recently just re-watched Spider-Man the Animated Series, and if you've watched the one from the 90s, that's the one I grew up with, like the old school animated series. They have really great storylines, like Venom is there, there's just a lot of cool things going on. And I like that a lot, so Venom's always been one of those favorite characters of mine that I'd like to see more on the big screen. I have high hopes for this movie. I have high hopes, and I hope that, you know, I'll get to see that when I actually go see it. Now, I'm not doing much damage to this Pokemon, I just wanted to trap it a little bit. It's always good to just get these Pokemon trapped, because you gotta make sure you get the W, you don't know when the heck these guys are gonna be gunning for you. Have you as you've seen, a couple of these trainers have managed to take out my team, which is a bit surprising, but it truly does happen. It's something that does happen here. Strike Rue to level 24. Sandy's gonna gain some XP, and we are moving through them. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. Let's keep on pushing through Route 3, ladies and gentlemen. Hello! There's a little... Oh, what the heck? I am not gonna go up that yet. We're gonna battle this guy. And then we'll make our way up there. Because that just looks a little bit creepy, ladies and gentlemen. That looked like we were about to head into the haunted forest. And I'm not trying to find a witch down there, you know, hiding in a candy house. So we're going to take things nice and slow. We'll get there when we get there, ladies and gentlemen. We will get there when we get there. Oh, Chin Chow, down. There we go, Chin Chow. You can't handle this heat. Crokina is gonna be coming out. Who could I send out for Crokina? Pebble hasn't gotten much XP out here, so let's send out Pebble. Let's see what Pebble can do against a Crokina. I'm powering up. All right, let's go for that fairy win, ladies and gentlemen. Big ol' fairy win. Chip away. We're going for the chip away. Here we go. Big ol' chip away. Hey, that is not bad. It was a crit, but I will take it. Pebble is down. Thank you for doing what you can do, Pebble. Don't even worry about it. It happens to the best of us. Sometimes we don't get a W. As we are getting to go up against much higher level Pokemon, that does mean that I'm gonna have to do a little bit of grinding coming up. Oh, a crit! Yeah, that was nice! That was nice! Wow! I'm gonna send out a sword out here. We have a little bit of a weakness to these water types, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe just a small little weakness to them. Just a small little weakness. And sword is down. My goodness, this is turning out to be quite the spectacle here. Let's send out Aqua against the Crokina then. And if Aqua can't do it, who can? Crokina is down. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We gained some XP, but we took some serious damage there. Aqua Ring. You know, I could definitely make room for Aqua Ring. That is a pretty decent move. It regains some HP on every turn. I'm going to get rid of Bubble Beam. We have barely been using it. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves Aqua Ring. Who's coming out next? A Huntail. Well, it looks to me like we are going to have to keep Aqua out here. So let's see what Aqua can do. I'm just going to keep going for the play roughs and hope that the play roughs are going to be enough. That one did a lot of damage. Yes! Hang in there, Aqua. At level 31 right now, as you can see, we've gained some major levels today. We seriously have. We've gotten some insane XP here out of Aqua. And I'm definitely going to have to catch up the rest of our Pokemon in level. There we go. Play Rough is going to take down the Huntail. And we have done it, ladies and gentlemen. We're looking pretty good. Aqua grew to level 32. And we defeated the Sailor. Now that we defeated this guy, I suppose we can make our way into the Freaky Forest before I go any further. So let's check it out. Let's see what we can find in this creepy place. There's an axe over here! Oh no! 
It is Halloween after all, you know, it's that time of the year. Oh, what could be going on in here? I see you found me. I'm the proud owner of a rare Delta Pokemon. I can trade it to you if you want. My Delta Scyther for any steel type Pokemon. Whoa, that is a steal. That is awesome. For right now, we don't have a steel type, but we can get ourselves a Delta Scyther. So we will have to find a steel type Pokemon because I would really like to add that Delta Scyther to our team. Now we know, ladies and gentlemen, now we know. So I can't swim through this green goo. I wouldn't expect our Lapras to jump into that. You have no idea what could be in there. What kind of contamination, what kind of craziness there is here. That is for us to find out. I bumped into a Pseudo Wudo. All right, Pseudo Wudo. It's not what I'm looking for, buddy. I got myself a Pokeball. But if you're looking for a Pseudo Wudo, there you go. You can find yourself one here in this place. Let's battle the next trainer then. I'm really hoping that we'll be able to find a Nurse Joy around here, ladies and gentlemen. Because it's been a little bit tough right now going up against all these trainers. A Dedean is coming out. So here we go. We got Aqua. Now I'm going to switch things up. Now it's time for us to bring Sandy out here. So come on out, Sandy. Let's see what you got against this Dedean. That is not going to do anything to us. Good thing we got Sandy with us. Aw, oh, don't charm us. Come on. We better do some major damage. That did not do as much damage as I wanted it to. But at least we got the Dedean trapped. I'm just going to keep on going for our Sand Tombs. And eventually we should be taking down this Dedean. One more Sand Tomb should just about do it, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. The Dean is down. Let's keep on moving. Good job, Sandy. That's what I like to see around here. A little bit of initiative. Magnemite. I'm going to switch this out. And I'm going to bring out Strike. A Magnemite. That is good to know. I know that you guys told me to keep an eye out for Steel Pokemon for that Delta Scyther. So thank you guys for that tip. I am definitely going to come back around and trade for that Delta Scyther. Think about that. A Delta Scyther? The Scythers are already cool in general. Having a Delta version of it? That's unheard of. That would be pretty wild. And I'm definitely liking the wildness of this game. And I want to bring that wildness to our team. Good job, Strike. A Clink. That is perfect for us. I'm going to go for the Incinerate then, ladies and gentlemen. After this lick. After this lick. So let's do it. Big Incinerate. Clink is down. And we are moving on through this route. Strike grew to level 25. And we defeated the Scientist, ladies and gentlemen. Good work so far here on this route. Should I go for a little swim here? Let's go for it. Let's see what we can find when we turn into instant Lapras. That's it? That, that, was, that was it? Nothing? You're just gonna make us turn into instant Lapras? For fun? Okay. If you guys want us to turn into instant Lapras once in a while, you know, just to swim around, just to cool off, that makes sense. It's probably hot in this region. I can see how it could be a little bit annoying, you know, a little bit troubling to go through here. I got a couple super potions, and it is that time. I'm gonna use it on Aqua. Yay, we missed that. We didn't get hit by the stun spore. I like it, I like it. I'm gonna go for the play rough here. Since our fairy moves do do a lot of damage. Gloom is gonna do a lot of damage to us too, regardless, because we are at a type disadvantage. But if I can just keep it up and land one of our hits, I think we'll be okay. There we go. Gloom is down, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go, Aqua. With the level 33, my goodness. Aqua has easily become one of my favorite Pokemon to use in this adventure. It must be for the fact that it is a shiny as well. All right, here we go. For the Incinerate. Blossom is close to going down, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Blossom is down. Great job, Strike. Let's keep at it. Let's keep at it, ladies and gentlemen. We grew to level 26. Let's learn Snatch. That might be a pretty good move for us to learn, actually. We are going to keep the moves we have for now. If it was something else, I might have taught it. But I'd rather keep some offensive moves on Strike. So there we go. We defeated 
the trainer. We got 1044 winning. And it looks like we made it through this route, ladies and gentlemen. We have officially arrived at Mechi Town. Yo, what's up, everybody, in Mechi Town? I saw some young girl run into the town early. I could hear her clomping across the bridge from inside my house. We made it to the next town, and we're gonna have to take a look around this place. Would you like to buy this egg off of me? I found her in my journey. I hardly need it. Sure. Here you are. Thanks. You just gave me an egg. We'll have to figure out what exactly is in that egg. This guy moved to Mechi Town to get himself a secret base. Is it here in Mechi that we're gonna be able to get ourselves secret bases? That would be absolutely awesome! We're definitely gonna have to explore around this place, ladies and gentlemen. So next time, we're gonna be continuing from here. Make sure you guys leave me some tips and comments on what's coming up. And if you like the video, make sure you click that like button. And if you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode of Pokemon Insurgents. Goodbye!